Carboxylic acid and hydrides derive their relevance because they're widely used in organic synthesis. Before I talk about chemistry itself, let me quickly cover how these guys are named. If you know how to name carboxylic acids, you'll see that naming anhydrides is simple. When the anhydride is made up from two carboxylic acids that are different, you name both pieces and then say anhydride. Here's a three carbon piece and a four carbon piece. We'll name the components alphabetically. So in this case, we'll put the four carbon piece first because using the common nomenclature is called butyric acid or for the systematic nomenclature, butanoic acid. In either case, B comes before P. So we have butyric, propionic, and hydride. The name is three words. Using the systematic nomenclature, we'd call this butanoic, propanoic, and hydride. Most of the time we'll see anhydrides that are symmetrical. Both components come from the same carboxylic acid, so then you just say one name. This is by far the most commonly used anhydride, acetic anhydride. In the organic lab, by far the most common method for making anhydrides is to treat an acid chloride with a carboxylic acid salt. Very good yields are generally achieved by this reaction because energetically we're going downhill. We're converting a less stable, more reactive carboxylic acid derivative to a more stable, less reactive derivative. And this procedure can be used to make symmetrical anhydrides or unsymmetrical anhydrides. The alkyl group that comes from the acid chloride can be different from the alkyl group that comes from the carboxylate anion. Carboxylate salts are easy to make. We simply treat the carboxylic acid itself with a strong base like NaOH. Symmetrical anhydrides can be prepared simply by heating at high temperatures to remove water. But this isn't so common unless we want to make a cyclic anhydride, in which case the reaction gives far better yields. For example, a succinic anhydride, which we can also write in a conformation like this, can be heated to make the cyclic anhydride. Removal of water drives this reaction to completion, so the reaction is favorable. However, generally, we'll make anhydrides by treating an acid chloride with a carboxylate salt. Turning to the chemical reactivity of these compounds, let's look at the list of carboxylic acid derivatives. Anhydrides are more stable and less reactive than acid chlorides, but less stable and more reactive than esters or amides. This means that we can convert acid anhydrides into esters and amides in good yields using nucleophilic acyl substitution. The reaction details are very straightforward. Treatment of the anhydride with an alcohol makes an ester. The carboxylate portion of the product comes from the anhydride, and the alkoxy portion of the ester comes from the alcohol. We make amides by using an analogous reaction with amines. The anhydride is treated with an amine to make the amide. The carboxylate portion comes from the anhydride, and the amide amino portion comes from the amine itself. The amine can be ammonia, a primary amine, or a secondary amine. For both the synthesis of esters and amides, it's important to notice that we should use a symmetrical anhydride. Otherwise, we'll get mixtures of products that are very difficult to separate. Although these two reactions are by far the most common reactions of acid anhydrides, there are a few others that it's worth mentioning. Like acid chlorides, carboxylic acid anhydrides are rather reactive toward water. In general, the importance of knowing about this reaction is to avoid it. We carefully exclude water from the reactions of anhydrides so we don't get carboxylic acids as byproducts. Like carboxylic acids and acid chlorides, Anhydrides are readily reduced using lithium aluminum hydride. The product is a primary alcohol. Like the reaction with acid chlorides, Grignard reagents react with anhydrides as well, adding twice to make tertiary alcohols. So this alkyl group from the Grignard reagent adds twice to make the tertiary alcohol. And finally, like with acid chlorides, cuprates react with anhydrides a single alkyl group is transferred to make a ketone. To summarize, there are five reactions of carboxylic acid anhydrides that are worth knowing. The two reactions I showed at the top, 
make esters and amides, and they're by far the most common reactions of anhydrides. The three at the bottom are also worth knowing because they offer ways to make primary alcohols, tertiary alcohols, and ketones.